This is a podcast from Torvine Voluntary Alliance. Hello, I'm Patrick Downs. Welcome to Word from the Third, where we'll be taking a look at all the big stories and news from the third sector here in Torvine. So today on Word from the Third, I'm joined by Jane Dorian, who's going to talk a little bit about walking rugby. But, but Jane, can you tell me more about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, walking rugby is a fully inclusive um, form of rugby. Um, It's based on the fundamental principles of normal rugby. So you've got a team of players and a ball. You're going forward by throwing the ball back and you're trying to get over a try line. So the very basics are exactly the same. The difference is that you're walking. So um, uh, the definition of walking depends on, um, on what team you're playing, really. But basically... You've got to have one foot on the floor at all times. But there's no um, scrummaging. There's no tackling. So uh, to to tackle someone, you uh, you put two hands on their on their on their body, basically. So a kind of tag form of the of the game. Um, and you have six tackles, and then the ball is turned over to the other team. Um, but but as I said, the the most important aspect really is that it is fully inclusive, and it can be adapted so that anybody can. Um, can get involved we've had uh, we've played against teams that have got um, blind players within our team we've got players that have had mobility issues Um, we've had um, uh, our youngest player is in their 30s our oldest player is in their 70s so literally anybody uh, can kind of get involved and have a go and, uh, and and play the game so what do you think is the best thing about being in the team for me, um, it's a kind of almost like a second chance. So I played rugby when I was in college, which uh, was longer ago than I care to remember now. Um, but I, I, I loved it. I loved being part of the team. Um, I loved, um, you know, the, the the thinking about the game, making the space, all that kind of stuff. And then as I got older and I couldn't play anymore, I thought, oh, well, you know, that that kind of chapter of my life is is over. Um, and I became a rugby mum. My son plays rugby, so I thought, well, this is my involvement now. You know, washing the kit and cooking the hot dogs and that kind of thing but then when I saw the um uh, the advert for walking rugby and I came along I was I was back in that in that kind of team environment um with you know the chat and getting on with the different people and um and thinking differently about uh, uh, you know making the space to um to throw the ball and all that kind of stuff so for me it, it kind of revitalized my um my my in, my um, enjoyment in the game and um, other people People have got different uh, different ideas. So some people play it because they're getting back into fitness. Some people look to um, you know get that com- competition again. You know they want they want the challenge of that. Some people do it to meet new people and, and make new friends. So I, I think it you know there's something for everybody, and I think everybody gets something different from it. What do you think the impact has as walking rugby had in the community then? Um, I think particularly in the area that we are so in South Wales, obviously rugby is a massive part of um, of life. And, and, you know, most, certainly most most men and increasingly women have been very involved in rugby in one way or another. Um, and it's a way to, to keep that engagement going, um, but also to make new connections and new, op- uh, explore new opportunities in, in a, you know, in a way that perhaps people thought wasn't available to them anymore. So, the, the players that I play with now, we've all played for different teams and we've arrived um, in this team via lots of different pathways. Um, but um, but we've we've kind of developed our team now and um, have been able to set up festivals and make new connections and develop new aspects of that community. Also, within the team that we've got and, and the other teams that are around, people have shared experiences. So as I mentioned, we've had people, um, we've people that have perhaps struggled with mental health issues or we've had uh, people that have had significant physical health issues and they've come along and been able to say oh you know this has happened and been able to make connections with people that have had similar experiences and being able to kind of have a chat about that whilst throwing a ball around and you know having a bit of a bit of a jog and all that kind of thing so it provides a different arena for people to make connections and and, um, share experiences. Now, tell me what's happening uh, with some of the future plans for walking rugby. 
So it's really developing quickly. Um, our team, the Torvine Swifts, based in the, the stadium at Cumbran, we've been going for about four and a half, five years now. Um, but there are new teams popping up everywhere. So in the last couple of weeks, uh, West Mon have set up a team. Uh, there's a team up in Forge Side. There's a team over in um, um, in Newport. They, they, they happen, there's new teams coming up all over the place. Um, and also, there's lots of festivals happening. Um, um, so we held one at Cumbran Stadium in October last year. Um, there was one in Krakowell um, a couple of months ago. There are, there are some coming up, um, quite a few coming up during the summer. And they're really nice opportunities to um, play other teams, make new connections, um, uh, you know, see how the game is going to develop because obviously some of the, the laws and the interpretation of those laws is, is still developing. So the future is looking really bright. There's lots more teams and lots more people getting involved. And as those um, those teams come up with new ideas and um, new um, events, then obviously more and more things will happen there as well. I suppose the question then on hearing about all this how can people get involved? The, if you're if you're in Torvine, you can um, have a look on um, the, any of the social media sites. So um, um, Google, uh, sorry, Facebook and Insta and Twitter. You can Google uh, Torvine Swift Walking Rugby, and that will take you to our team uh, site and information. Um, we train at Cumbran Stadium on a Saturday morning at ten o'clock. Anybody welcome, come along. If you just want to have a watch for the first time and, and see what you think, that's fine. Uh, there's lots of videos and bits and pieces there as well that give you an idea about um uh, what the game is and how it's organized and um, if you're looking wider than that on um, on Facebook you can go to a site called Totally Walking Rugby and that's the hub that holds all the information for walking rugby right the way across the UK so wherever you are you should be able to get hold of some information there about a team or some activities with walking rugby that are going on close to you. Jane thank you so much for telling us more about walking rugby today. Brill, thanks very much. It's been great. And don't forget, if you want to contact TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance, for anything regarding the third sector here in Torvine, get in touch regarding funding, volunteering, any kind of support or governance. Info at tvawales.org.uk. You can also find us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at TVA Wales, or of course on the website. It's all there at tvawales.org.uk. This podcast is produced by TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance.